this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. All right, now we'll be talking about how to create realistic reflections um, within objects. So if you have an object, for example, in this case here, we have a baseball. And uh, what we're going to do here is create a realistic reflection of this baseball. You've probably seen different ways of creating reflections. This one will probably be uh, more realistic in the sense that if you were to place uh, a baseball on top of a, a glass sphere or something that would, a glass uh, table, that would uh, reflect that, uh, that baseball, it wouldn't be a, a perfect copy of that baseball. So we're just aiming for the most realistic version of a reflection. So that's what we'll be showing you right now. So we just need to bring up our layers palette here and we're going to duplicate uh, the baseball. Uh, the way we can do this is just click and drag our background layer to the new paper icon here or the shortcut is just control J and we have two layers here so make sure you have two layers now what we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and go to image size and uh, adjust the canvas size so we're in image and canvas size and we're going to change our selection here from uh, inches and yours might be, might be a little bit different we just make, want to make sure that we're working on percentage here and we're going to set the height to 200 and the anchor to the top so all we're doing is duplicating this height here to leave another space for the other baseball and uh, we're setting our image to the top so all we're doing is increasing space at the bottom that's all that is so we're going to click OK and there you are you've seen it so I'm just going to zoom out here to show you the whole image area now what we need to do is uh, just uh, switch over this baseball so that it's a reflection now the only real clue that you have I mean this is a baseball after all you're not going to be able to tell if you actually flipped the baseball or not except for this little detail here on the text so we want to pay attention to that in most other cases, when it's not a perfect circle, uh, you will obviously uh, notice that what you need to do is just put a reflection of this baseball. So this uh, text needs to be going down from here and the baseball down. The way we do this is just go to Edit, Transform, and uh, Flip Vertical. That's all that does. So you can see that there. Now we're just going to, with the Move tool, uh, move the baseball down. You can hold down the Shift button to make sure that you're moving it just vertically down. And uh, there you are. So there's a reflection of the baseball there. Okay. Uh, first, the other thing to do now is to change the opacity. The opacity, uh, I'm going to set here to 40%. And if you're with the Move tool, you can just press 4 on your number pad key here to set it to 40. Or you can just, you know, set the slider here. Uh, you, you can play around. Usually something between 20 to 40% works. I find that for this baseball, 40% is working really well. And uh, to add a bit of that realistic... Um, feeling to it, like I said, because of course a reflected uh, baseball will not be exactly like this, right? We need to just go to filter, blur, and motion blur. And uh, we're setting here a motion blur, uh, an angle of 90 or negative 90. We just want to make sure that it's uh, from top to bottom there. And the distance we're going to set for this image here, 20 pixels. You can play around with that um, with your own image. We're going to click OK. And uh, this has added a bit more of that um, realistic reflection that I'm talking about, right? Because uh, uh, reflections are going to be exactly a perfect copy of that baseball. And the other thing is we want that baseball to just fade away slowly. So the way we do this is just going to add a layer mask. So we're going to click here, add a layer mask. We're going to go to our gradient tool, make sure that we are on um, the first selection here, white to black, and we are on white to black here. And now we're just going to click from the top. And with the shift key, making sure that we are confine ourselves to 90 degrees, uh, release it about at the bottom here. So there we are. So we have 100% all the way to fading. And uh, the final bit here, what we want to do is, um, you can see that there's a bit of the baseball reflection that's sort of going, it's not going over top, but it's overlapping here, a bit of the baseball. So what we want to do is just make sure we want to move this. So press V for the move tool. And um, just uh, hold down the shift and press down at uh, once. So that'll just move it down 10 pixels. And, uh, or you can just do it again, you know, just you can have it as far or as close as you like. I, I like it being like that. So we'll just zoom out here and you can see that we've created successfully a realistic reflection of this baseball. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.